guys. I'm Josh Douglas. I'm out here on Sam Rayburn, and I want to teach you guys some tricks about running big water. You know, being from Minnesota, I fish Lake Mille Lacs a bunch, you know, fishing the Northern Opens all the way to New York, places like Lake Erie and Champlain, and don't get no worse than Champlain. And running big water is just so important. It's what we do every day, and there's some tips and tricks to make it actually better for you and better on your equipment, and also make you more efficient to get to and from where you're going. First of all, I'm going to plug my boat here, and that's my Phoenix boat. I mean, I've ran several different boats. Everybody loves the boat that they're paying for. I completely understand that. I get that wholeheartedly. But when you're looking for a new boat, if you run big water, like places like Sam Rayburn here in Texas or Mille Lacs in Minnesota, look at getting a Phoenix boat. That was the number one selling factor for me was just running that big water. The hull is perfect. It stays on top of the waves. It doesn't eat them. That's critical. Some steps from there, though, is all about my engine and my jack plate and my trim. And these things are hugely important because they kind of go against the grain from what we've been taught about running boats as we go. And check it out, the back of the boat. So much stuff goes on in the back of the boat when it comes to running water. Uh, first of all, I got my trim. My trim is gonna make my Evinrude go up and down. It's basically not up and down, but out like that. And what, what that does is you need your trim down to be able to get up on pad. When your trim's down, you hop out of the hole quicker, then you start lifting that trim up as you go, and that starts making you fly across the water. My jack plate, on the other hand, this is the TH Marine Atlas jack plate. What that does is actually physically takes my engine up and down. The nice part about that is that say I'm in real shallow water, I can keep that jack plate all the way high, and I can jump out of the hole in a foot of water, and I, I can run shallower water. When you're running big water, there's some pretty critical stuff that you gotta look at. First of all, you need to keep the nose of the boat high. That's so important to be able to run those waves. And to be able to do that efficiently, I don't want my jack plate up. You know, usually I'm running this boat, my jack plate at about an eight, nine, 10, something like that is my best, most efficient way of running. When I'm out on big water and, I, and the waves are real big, I'm keeping that jack plate all the way down because I don't want the nose of the boat to plane out. What I want is I want that boat to stay up high. And by keeping my jack plate down, that's gonna keep that nose of the boat up. At the same time, I'm gonna keep my trim up higher, and that's where you go against the grain a little bit. I got the jack plate down, I got my trim out. What that does is if anyone's ever had their trim up and they try to jump out of the hole, all they do is they ride high and their nose stays out of the, up, up above the water. So hugely important, because what that does is when you come over that wave, it keeps that nose up and into the next one and not come down and spear it. And anyone who's ever speared anything, knows that it hurts and it hurts your equipment. So I stay dry, my boat stays dry, and most importantly, everyone stays safe. Give it a try next time you're out on the water.